Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a little bit more personal. Like I'm gonna talk about why I really decided to be an helper. It was, I think, something kind of tough for me. And I want to let you know because probably another girls right now are going through really difficult moments and being an helper made me get out of that difficult moment that I was. Uh, going through. I've been trying to talk about this. I've been trying to tell you this uh, for a long time now. I'm kind of nervous because it is the first time that I'm gonna talk about this and especially on YouTube. If you are already really uh, interested in this, just give it a thumbs up just because of that and please subscribe um, and let me know down below in the comments what do you think about it and what are your real reasons of why you want to be an opera. So let's just make this long story a really short one. <laughs> so everything I started probably three years ago. I had two best friends, like real good best friends by then. <laughs> I don't know how everything I started, but what really made me take a decision to be an author, um, I had a best friend, she had a boyfriend, and I had a boyfriend too, and this guy, my boyfriend, was um, someone related to her, and we broke up, and he just started to say bad stuff about me, blah, blah, blah. But the worst thing was that my best friend, my dad, she's not my best friend anymore. She started to say and to tell to everybody that I was working as a prostitute, which is not true, because... I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't be here really if I was really working as a prostitute. I really don't know why she said that, but I feel like it was because she had a boyfriend and this guy um, kind of started to text me weird things. What I was really trying to say is that he started to text me and tell me that he was in love with me. I'm sorry, I was like really nervous and I didn't know how to explain this. And me as a good best friend, I tried to tell her and at the beginning I, I really thought that he was like just making fun of me and I was like okay can you stop doing that because I don't like it I feel like this is weird and if it is a joke it is a really bad joke so please stop he did it like twice or three times and at the third time I told him okay you know what I'm gonna tell my best friend I feel that this is not okay I just need to tell her because I don't know what to do because uh, I mean Everybody knows everything in this life. Like she was gonna find out about it, even though those were jokes. So I showed her everything, and she was like, "Oh, okay." Like I was like, "Okay." So are you mad at me? I mean, I don't want you to get mad at me because, like, I'm trying to be a good friend and telling you this and what is going on. I just wanna know why is he acting like that? Like, if it is a joke, or if it is true, or what is going on with him? She never talked to me again since then. Why? I have no idea. It seemed like she thought that I was like flirting with him, that I wanted to be with him, which is not true. He's like a good friend, that's it. Like I never saw him like more than a friend. Like, there was never, ever, ever. Like I don't know what she was thinking. I think that she got really mad for no reason. She started to talk bullshit about me. She was like and going out for dinner with my friends and, and telling them that I was working as a prostitute doing that like for almost half a year my other best friend told me about it told me what was going on because I didn't know she destroyed me I felt like I couldn't even get out of my house without people judging me probably they didn't even know about it yeah, because I'm pretty sure that only my closest friends knew about it and none of them, none of them texting me or call me to tell me you know what she's saying this about you why is it true um what is going on like nobody called me and that was the worst thing like not not even what she said it's like my friend uh, never called me to tell me what was going on and i felt like my world was ruined it was just the worst um uh, month because i was like that for a month but then i realized that she was nobody to make me feel like that because i knew that that was not true i was not gonna let her to make me feel like that her and i never texted her i never said anything i just wanted to forget about her i just wanted to i, I didn't want to know anything about 
all the people right now i can only say that i have two best friends and it is my best friend sofia and my mom besides my boyfriend because he's like a best friend to me too that broke my heart and that made me realize that people can be really mean to you even if they have been your friends for years like years because she was my best friend i don't know for six years i think we we went through high school together i don't even hate her it's just I feel bad because I don't know what was going on with her, why she said that. I told my mom and was crying because I I didn't know why that was happening to me. That was not everything. Then I started to get a text from people asking me that if I was working as a prostitute, that how much I was gonna ask to them to work and like all that kind of stuff, you know what like you know what I mean? All this happened and uh, I was like on internet and I was just like, I don't know what I was doing, I don't even remember. And then I saw this about Oprah and I wanted to get out of the city. I wanted to get out of my city. I wanted, I, I didn't want to know anything about anybody. I didn't want to know anything about that place. So I saw the announcement on the internet and I started to just like search more stuff and I wanted to know. So that same day I told my mom, mom um, I found this, I want to be this, and I want to get out of this city, like, right now. I think that she understood what I was going through. Her answer was just, okay, if you want to do it, go ahead, do it. She is the best mom I could ever ask for. So, the next day, we made the payment, and I started everything, all the process. But even though I wanted to get out of the city, like, the next day it took me like a year but yeah i think that that was like the main reason no i mean i'm really sure that was the main reason why i am here right now probably is not the worst thing ever but it was pretty tough it made me feel really bad um about myself i felt like um nobody loved me by then like everybody was hating me i was like really like depressed but uh Right now, I feel really proud of that. Probably you are gonna say, what? Why? But yeah, I'm really proud of that because if it wasn't for that, of everything that happened, I wouldn't be here. I'm happy right now. Like, everybody can look at me and say, yeah, she's happy. I'm pretty happy with myself. I'm pretty happy with the people uh, that are surrounding me. Also, it made me realize I cannot trust everybody. There are people that make you think that they are your real friends when they are really not i am here and i am nothing like the anna that i was like two years ago or three years ago that really um made me to grow up and be a little bit more mature this experience as an oper is helping me like it is still helping me even though I've been here for a year and three months like it is still helping me everything every single day I learned something and that was the real reason why I became an over um I don't know if this video is gonna be of your interested but hopefully it is gonna help you to probably think about your life and see if being over could be your thing or not or I don't know I, I just want to say that being an over can help you a lot and everything and if you're not having a bad moment back at your place at your home you can come as an oper and just try to live life and i feel that is what being an oper is about to live life to get to know people and culture and just have experience and okay i think that that was a intense video hopefully you're gonna like it and I guess uh, I see you on my next video. Best. Bye.